Okay, so when we do a blood pressure, we are going to do it the most accurate way possible, not necessarily the way that you're going to see it done in your doctor's office. So remember, a lot of times I talk to you about how what we learn in the classroom is like by the book way you should do it, but in real life, sometimes you'll see it done differently, and that doesn't mean that they're doing something wrong. But yesterday, I gave you the rationale why we palpate for a blood pressure first, and that's because we can miss somebody's hypertension because of something called an oscillatory, which means hearing, gap, where there's a break in the sound. And if we didn't palpate first, we might not know that. So Today, you are watching my second level students learn how to take blood pressures, particularly the actual dexterity part of it. Not so much knowing what the numbers mean, but how to work the equipment. So when they first take a blood pressure, they have to first palpate or feel for the top number, which is your systolic blood pressure. Once they get a prediction of where that top number is going to be, then they use the stethoscope to listen or auscultate for a blood pressure. Uh, they pump up past where they predict, and then they have to listen for the sounds when they begin and then when they end, and that's how you actually come up with your blood pressure. And the last sound. And her blood pressure, I heard it first at about 124, and then I heard it last at about 80. So she'd be 124 over 80. I wish that classes like this had been available when I was in high school. I had an idea that I wanted to be a nurse, but I never got to experience what it looked like in real life. Um, I'll be honest with you, my first semester in nursing school, I was almost like, ooh, should change my major. <laughs> because it was really different than what I expected. But I did stick it out. I worked as a nurse from 1988 till 2003, so I have a lot of experience in the actual healthcare world that I bring into the classroom. All right, so one person from each group, come get a blood pressure cuff, and then spread out. You can go out into the hallway, stay in here, other side, it needs to be quiet. Every adult that I talk to that's in the healthcare field will tell you they wish that they had had this opportunity in high school. I think it's really going to benefit our students because we know that there's a tremendous need for healthcare professions and that need is going to increase over the next decade many, many times. And even though there's this tremendous need, the programs are really, really competitive. So hopefully by giving our students some experience here in high school, they are ready to get those really coveted positions and so I think there's a real benefit for them here. Do you feel my pulse? Mm -hmm. Don't do it with your thumb. Yeah. I wanted to really get into the program, but it was full my freshman year. So I started my sophomore year, and Ms. Lash has taught us a lot and with everything. Mm -hmm. Radially, I'm just fine. Brachial, on the other hand. It can be hard. You know, that's yeah. definitely a harder pulse to find. That's helped me in my internship because they trust me with more. I can do the more difficult procedures, uh, tasks that they need me to do. I can schedule, I can talk to patients on the phone, all of that kind of stuff because Ms. Lash has taught us that. In their senior year, they can do internship where they actually go either to a physician's office or um, into the emergency room or another floor in the hospital where they shadow healthcare professionals. And because they have these classes, it's more than shadowing. So if they hadn't been in here, they wouldn't know the legalities of HIPAA, they wouldn't know how to do an EKG, how to take vital signs. So they actually get to work in the capacity of an unlicensed healthcare provider. For me to have these classes in high school, it's such a great experience, especially with that now I'm doing my internship in the emergency room. Everybody in there is so shocked that we're still in high school and that we're learning all of these things. And it's really neat that we get to learn this stuff like when we're in high school when usually you'd be not be learning this type of thing until like maybe like the third year of college when you actually start the nursing program and so we're going to be like really a step ahead of the game knowing all of this stuff ahead of time. Did you hear it that time? Yeah, I heard okay. it. Make sure one thing, I'm not sure that your stethoscope is turned on because I didn't uh -huh. listen. Always like lightly tap it because see how there's an end on this side mm -hmm. and an end on this side. When you turn it, it varies the side you're listening from. Miss Lash was chosen as Teacher of the Year probably because she genuinely cares. She was a pediatric, like a labor and delivery nurse, so she cares about people first, and 
she doesn't care about our grades as much as she cares about us learning. So if we need to retake a test, that's fine because she just wants us to learn the information and she will go over things over and over again and she will really sit down and practice and make sure we learn it. We're really making progress in showing how by connecting to career choices, kids can see the relevance of not only what they're doing here in my classroom, but how does it apply to their other classes. I work a lot with other teachers here at school to make sure that when I'm doing a lab where they're analyzing data that I'm using the same terminology that they would use in math class, that they would use in science class. I love to point out to them, see you did need to know that algebra. <laughs> and oh yes, we do read in healthcare. That's really important, that piece where it connects to their other classes. So I think for a lot of them, it gives them little light bulbs to think, wait, okay. Maybe I do need to go pay attention there. Maybe something I learned in this class applies over here. So I'm gonna let you work this part too. So you wanna close it like it is now, but kind of play with it for a second so you know how it feels in your hands. So it's closed, so now you're gonna open it by turning it to the left. But you only have to open it a teeny, teeny bit. She really helps us to understand things in like a practical way um, because she was a nurse for many years so she like understands how things actually work and the real like the real like nursing world and everything and it's not just with nursing she explains things from other different perspectives too from whatever job we'd be doing. She really helps us to like even like develop like study techniques and um, like checks to make sure that we like know our vocabulary and we do flashcards and stuff like that and um, learning in like several different ways too, like sometimes we do stuff on paper, sometimes we do it on the computer, so it really has even helped me in my other classes too. She makes me feel really excited for the future because just everything that we learn, like we just got our EKG certification, so it's really exciting and she actually teaches us stuff that we can apply to our life and she loves it. I think. I do a really good job of connecting with my kids. I talked about relevance, but I also think there's a big piece called relationships in teaching. And because of this type of program, I have kids for three years in a row, a lot of them, and I get to develop a very strong personal relationship with them, which allows me to really push them where somebody else might not. Um, as far as a staff member, we have an amazing instructional staff in this county and I think it shows we're one of the top districts in the whole state and you don't get there because you have good kids you get there because you have good teachers with good kids <laughs> you cannot take that out of the equation